Mexican for the night. We're all the Mexicans in the house. Make some noise. Hispanics. Oh shit. Somebody got some free tickets in this bitch. There's a lot of cool Hispanic stereotypes like uh, Hispanic men are great lovers, which uh, I don't want to brag or anything like that. But the Hispanic men that I slept with were amazing. You left your cake. That's the way it is. I'm actually not from here though. I'm from Modesto, California. I've been in Texas now for some years though. So, uh, growing up there was cool because we had a lot of diversity. We had a lot of, a lot of black people, a lot of Asians, uh, of course a lot of Hispanics. We had like one white dude. And that was the landlord. You know what I'm saying? It was cool growing up there, but the only thing growing up like that, I didn't learn a lot of Spanish because we didn't really speak it because everybody was doing their own thing. So now I'm kind of like uncomfortable speaking Spanish because I don't do it too well. Like for me, like I like for me speaking Spanish is like uh, masturbating. You know what I'm saying? Because I only do it when I have to, and I have to a lot. So it's like I have to. The way women look at it when I start talking about masturbating, it's it's, it's funny to me how women are oblivious to the fact that their guy does that. Like, I actually had a friend of mine the other day, she was like, well, uh, I don't know if my boyfriend does that because he doesn't talk about it. So I don't know if, he, I don't know if he masturbates. So then I was like, all right, well, let's dig deeper. Um, uh, does he have hands or? Not even two, just at least one hand with one finger, something that's going to fall I like to do, uh, Things a little different when I do stand up. I actually like to do poetry. Anybody like poetry? I like to do pieces. I'm gonna do a piece right now for the ladies in the house. I actually wrote this. Watch! I just amazed the shit out the Mexicans now. Watch out, David Copperfield. Watch out. David Blaine. This is a little piece I wrote uh, for the ladies in the house. Uh, I love women, man. I love what you guys do with yourselves to look good, smell good. You guys are the backbone, honestly, of everything that we do. It's for the ladies in the house, y'all. I wrote this piece because I love you guys so much. And this is called The Essence. The Essence. Can I get some snaps, y'all? There we go, y'all. The Essence. Again. From your lips to your hips to your knees to your toes. From your socks to your crotch where the tampons go. Damn, I love you so. It's like I run out of words to say when I think of you because there's just no damn way to summarize, and betray, to hesitate, and delay. I'm like the opposite of okay because I can't shake feeling this way. Damn, I love women. I thank God for women on earth. To the grave from birth, I'll always put you first. And even though you annoy me with all that shit that you keep in your purse. Woman, you quench my thirst. Matter of fact, I really don't even need this book to spit this purse. You see, because I generally understand why lesbians want to be a man and get a mouthful of all they can. Because you are a superstar and woman. I'm your number one fan. Matter of fact, I'm the president of your fan club. I'm in the front row yelling, let's go, with a big number one finger in the season ticket stub. And it's even greater love than I'm speaking of because you complete me so non-discreetly like newborns and chi-chis. <laughs> and I swear, that coochie's better than the cinnamon rolls at CeCe's. Stop and stare as I fall out 